don't you guys kill someone tonight? It's a movie set in futuristic America, where the government suspends law and order for 12 hours on March 21st, making crime, including murder, legal. Announcing the commencement of the annual purge. Parents at Floresville Middle School tell Ken's Five a seventh grade girl saw the movie recently and it motivated her to create a purge list. The Floresville Independent School District confirms the list included names of students, staff and celebrities and no other details. A parent who did not want to speak on camera and whose daughter was named on the list says the girls were working on it in class when it was discovered by a teacher. In a statement, the Floresville Independent School District Superintendent Sherry Bays says parents of students who were named on the list were immediately notified, but we learned parents whose kids were not on the list were unaware. As a parent, I would like to know if something like that happened so that I could take measures to protect my child. The school police as well as the Wilson County Sheriff's Office are now involved. The mother of a boy who was named on the list says officers have told her she can press charges. They would be classified as a terrorist threat and would stay on the girls' records even as adults. She tells Ken's Five she is not pressing charges because she doesn't want to ruin their future. Times have changed. They're not like they used to be and unfortunately things are taken so, you know, so much more serious now. But look at the society we live in. Do you blame them? The school district would not comment on what the girls plan to do with to the people on the list or what disciplinary action the district took against them, but it did say that they took the threat very seriously. Parents of the kids affected have told us that they know that the kids have been removed from the classroom but weren't sure what the punishment was.